Hey folks, welcome back to a very special edition. It seems like the last couple ones are very special and the reason why is because I've been doing something out of the norm. This time I'm joined by my wife, fellow game enthusiast and D&D player in my home campaign, Christina. Say hi everybody. Hi. Everybody. Okay. Alright, well she's a little shy. This is her first time doing a video with me. She has her own YouTube channel uh, regarding makeup and different cosmetology things and whatever it is that you do. Mm -hmm. I'm not too sure what they are, but she does them and she's pretty popular, so you should check her out. But the reason why we're here today is because I bought her from Gale Force 9 the Dungeons & Dragons spellbook cards for the bar, which her character is. Her character is this very hot two <laughs> foot eight uh, halfling bard. So what we're going to do is we're going to do kind of a review of them and kind of an unveiling of what they are. I've heard a lot of good things and a lot of not so good things regarding some of the cards uh, that they make, specifically to the other classes regarding uh, their spells and them not being there. But what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the cards and have her do the official opening. So here you go. I'm going to go ahead and open it up. The packaging is really nice. Guild Force 9 always does their packaging really well. So look at that. There's two separate decks. Oh, they got numbers on the back too, so I don't know if you guys can see that, but the back of the card has got like a little mandolin on there and got nine, like a playing card. I assume that's for the the level of the spell. I think so. Yeah, because you, they have this one here, it's got a three on it. And I believe these are dry and wet erased, they are laminated, so. Here you go. Here is your tool, Doctor. Mm -hmm. Of course. I'm afraid. So yeah, let me hold one here. <laughs> just, I wouldn't, yeah. Just, uh, uh, here, let's do this. Maybe I'll do it. <laughs> 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 Alright. You. You're welcome. I'll get going on this one here. The reason why we're doing this in the bed is because I actually just got into a major car accident and I'm trying to take it easy. So I'm in bed and wanted to get this done for her. So she can use them tonight. So yeah, that's how dedicated I am. Get into a major car accident, total out my car. Yet still, <laughs> I uh, I still run my home campaign. Mm -hmm. Does it smell? No. Okay. All right. So what's the first card? Oh, should I go? No, no, no. That's okay. That's, let's go. Let's see. Hypnotic pattern. Oh, it's got the categories. I like it. Casting time, range, components, duration, and a description of it. Let me see. That's really cool. Oh, it is laminated. Really nicely. I don't know if you can see it if it reflects, but these things are like heavily laminated. So yeah, they would be wet and dry erased. In fact, let me go get let me go get one of each of those. I will be right back. So tell people what you see, what you read on there and okay. how it's set up. Well the one you just read off, it actually says the the casting time and has the ranges up here and then describes it down here. <sighs> I think I got it too fast. <laughs> you okay? Yeah. That's my chest. And my hand. And my neck. So here we are with the wet erase. <laughs> you can close your eyes if you want. Okay, so it does work. Ah, comes right off. Look at that. Awesome. So, I'll show you guys. Like, I'll use a darker color. So we use brown. So if she needs to, she can write notes, plus one for whatever. Oh, like the damage? I guess. Oh, what it would does. Plus one, sucker. So, we get that. It's pretty nice. And then, oops, here, put this over here. Spit on your card. That's okay. Alright. And then we just see. Uh, now look, it wipes right off. Wow. Look at that. Like Good these. as new. These very are nice, and they're pretty thick cards too. Very durable. Let's see. Now we're gonna Literally. use dry erase. Oh yeah, they come right off. The wet, the the dry erase works too. So very good. Uh, you know, when I played fourth edition, one of the greatest things they ever did was the Dungeon Master screen. I thought it was one of the best Dungeon Master screens that I've seen that they had actually produced for the game. Um, the worst thing that Wizards of the Coast did for 4th edition was the power cards that they had. 
they weren't laminated like this eat at all. This was what, twelve dollars, fifteen dollars. The ones that Wizard of the Coast actually was selling was a price point of nine ninety nine, and they weren't dry erased. They weren't wet erased, and there was always so much errata about them. So it was nice that with the open gaming license that Gale Force Nine was able to do this. Uh, Wizards of the Coast got really smart and started doing a lot of the extra things that they put out before and third party them. You know, like the miniatures with Wiz Kids NECA, um, with uh, some of with these power cards, mm -hmm. even even the Dungeon Master screen. Now they're coming out with their own Dungeon Master screen, but there's one specifically for the Tyranny of Dragons campaign that Gale Force Nine is putting out. That's the one we I showed you on mm -hmm. the website. So that's really cool. Um, yeah, it's got everything on here. The description of the spell and everything, which is really cool. I like that because I actually write it down on a piece of paper. So now I don't have to. No, you don't have to. You have them all here. All you have to do is pull them out and cast them out. And you're like, those are really cool. I like them. Isn't this one I don't have? Blade Ward, yes. <laughs> In fact, you just got that one, I think. I did. Yeah. Mm. It tells you what it is. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. So it tells you it tells you you can't really see here, but I'm telling you it's good. Casting time, balance, components, duration. Very cool. I like this. See, it's a cantrip. This is zero level. So three. I like these because you can see all of them. I like how it tells you what, what level it is. What level so you know it is. Very cool. So you can look for it. How many are there? So there's one. Okay, guys, sorry we had to edit it this way. Uh, battery died on the camera, so we're gonna go ahead and finish up. But yeah, just to reiterate, these are really, really great cars for the price points. You know, 120 spells, including the cantrips, everything they have in there. Now, if there is any errata on there, you'll have to make the adjustments yourself, but with it being laminated, I don't see that being too much of a problem. Or just make a little side note somewhere. Because most of the description, there is space at the bottom of the cards some more, some others, uh, where you can actually make notes depending how well, yeah. Like this one here for the uh, press of digitation. There isn't much, but I can't imagine this one being eroded too much. So there you go, go pick yours up. Do your research first. First, don't take just our word on it, but if you do, I'm gonna tell you, you're not gonna be disappointed. Not for the price point. Now, if you're paying like 20 bucks for them and there were some issues with it, yes. But anywhere from 12 to $15, not a problem. Alright, so I think that's about it for right now. I think so. We're going to finish getting ready for tonight's game. I'm going to take some more Advil and uh, hopefully it won't interrupt my performance tonight too much regarding our home game. Anyway, don't forget to check us out at www.geekcp.net. Uh, Christina Adams, look for her on her YouTube channel if you're interested in some uh, hair and makeup techniques. Uh, don't know why you wouldn't be, but that's fine if you choose to do so. <laughs> shameless plug, shameless plug. And, uh, of course, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, check out our Facebook page, and leave us in a comment below. Alright, take care guys, happy gaming. Bye.